Hey everybody, today I'd like to introduce to you this very useful software that's called Always On Top. Now that kind of sounds like a funny name, but it literally does what the name says, which is it allows you to select a specific window or windows and have it always appear on top of other windows. So for example, let's say I want to use the calculator application and then I want it to appear on top of another window. So what I do is I select the calculator, simply press two buttons and there you go, voila, it's on top of the other window. I can be surfing the net, okay, browsing different tabs and windows and it'll just always be on top no matter what window I'm on. So here's how to get this software. Download this software from this link here. I didn't create this software, I'm just providing it for easy download and use for you guys. Now after you have downloaded this zip file, unzip it and you'll find that there's one file inside which is always on top.exe. Double click it and it'll be running in the background. And to know whether it's doing that, simply click on the arrow on your taskbar here and you'll see this black icon that's called DI. Now that's the always on top application and it means that it's running. And then to use it, just have the window that you want to have on top selected. Make sure it's the active window, then hold control, then space, and you'll now always be on top, okay? To stop the window from floating, simply repeat the same steps. Highlight the desired application, then hold control, and then space, and then the window will no longer be floating. One of the popular ways I use it for is to watch videos. So with Windows Media Player, you have the always on top function, but not for, say, when you're watching videos on YouTube. So what I do is I go to YouTube, load up the video that I want to watch, then on the Chrome browser, I pull out the tab such that now it's a separate window, and I minimize it to whatever size I want it to be. By the way, with Chrome, you can hold Control and minus, and the window will become smaller. Okay, and then I just minimize it accordingly. Okay, now making sure this window is active, I hold Control and space. And voila, okay, it's on top. So I can be watching the video no matter what other window I'm browsing. I can be editing, say, certain graphic work, and I can be watching the video at the same time. I can even be, say, doing some text work, and then I can still be watching the video at the same time too. Very useful. I can also be using always on top to look at data from two different files. So let's say I'm on this Excel sheet right now, and I want to look at certain information from a PDF file. So first make sure this window is active, okay? Then I hold control space and voila, okay? So I can be scrolling around, typing on my Excel sheet while looking at the information here, okay, on this PDF file. And you can also be using the calculator application like I mentioned just now. So let's say you are typing up an email and I need to calculate some numbers. With the calculator always on top, I can be easily typing numbers and then typing them in and so on and so forth. So extremely useful. And always on top doesn't just work for one window. You can actually use that for multiple windows. So for example, right now I have the calculator on top but I want another window, let's say a video window on top as well. And you can do that. You can have two windows concurrently on top, like this, okay? And if for whatever reason you want to have one browser window appear on another browser window, you can do that as well. So simply select the tab that you want to appear on top on Chrome or any browser you're using. Okay, have it in a separate window. Then, okay, making sure it's the active window, hold control, space, and voila, now it's always on top of whatever other browser windows that you have on. For easy access, add it to your taskbar here, and what you do is, right-click the software, select pin to taskbar, and then you'll automatically appear here. You can also click pin to start menu, and then you'll always be here. And you can also add it to the startup folder so that you'll always start up whenever you start Windows. And the way to do it is simply select any folder on Windows. And then in this Windows bar here, type in this text. C colon slash program data slash Microsoft slash Windows slash start space menu slash programs slash startup, right? And when you do that, Automatically, you go to the startup folder, which launches applications automatically when your Windows startup.
So you want to create a shortcut for always on top by right clicking it, then click create shortcut. Now cut and then paste the file here, and it's here. And then you can just rename it as always on top. Okay, so now whenever you start Windows, always on top will be launched. One final thing to note about the software is that it doesn't seem to work for a specific software. So for example, I found that it doesn't work for Photoshop or Sony Vegas Pro, which is a video editing software. And what I mean is that let's say I'm using Photoshop and I want Photoshop to float on top of the browser, it actually doesn't work. Okay, so if I press Ctrl plus space, it actually doesn't float on top. But if I'm to use Photoshop and I want another software to float on top of Photoshop, it will work. I have not found this to be an issue though, because when I'm using software like Photoshop or Sony Vegas Pro, I will usually need the whole desktop for them anyway, and then I'll be floating a YouTube video and watching it while I'm working away on the software. So that's it. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to like the video if you have found this tutorial helpful. Subscribe to the channel, which is youtube.com slash Chua. Visit personalexcellence.co for hundreds of free articles on how to be your best self and live your best life. And I look forward to seeing you guys in the next video. Bye guys!